red tonight. I'll get on the, on the old Guinness and I'll be... On the Guinness? On the Guinness tonight. I've got to get me straight hey. up. Hey, Guinness no more. Hey. Any of you lads got big sisters? Send them down tonight. <laughs> and, uh, he's got more than you've got, she says. Uh, he's got more strength. <laughs> yeah, she looked like Annie Oak. Who was it? 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 Got some bread, Mary. Some bread for ponies. That goat works well. It's well for Philip. Yeah, it's a nice show, yeah. I'm pleased with it, yeah. Now, I've never known anything else but show business. I was on the variety or circus side. I mean, I'm a proprietor of a small circus. But at the same time, if it came to that, I can always condescend to go and work for somebody else. Uh, because it's, it's my life. Now, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, once again. Now, as you know, there are no strangers here. We paid your visit once this year already. But owing to public demand, we've come back again. Now, it's not a beautiful summer's day, but uh, the show must go on. Now, we've never claimed to be a large circus, but I know very well, by the time we have finished, you will agree they have given you a first-class show for the family. If you have enjoyed the show when it's over, just tell your friends we're here today, and doors open this evening at 7, commence at half past. Now, you little girls and boys, mummies and daddies, I want you all to enjoy yourselves, to laugh and to clap. Thank you very much. Thank you. The rope get bigger, get ready now, there she goes! I've tried to settle down myself, you know, and stayed in one town. I've stayed there about three weeks. And I've got sick of the sight of the place, you know, after three weeks. You know, I thought, well, I'd like to go somewhere else. And probably the next time looks just the same, but it's just different, you know, you're moving. I think it's just this thing you want to keep travelling all the time. When we were at one place, she said, that, well, you shouldn't, tra shouldn't have a baby if you're travelling. You shouldn't travel if you have a baby. Mary, the wife, uh, it gets to a place for three days, she gets bored stiff. Uh, there's one place she went to this year where she said she wouldn't mind stopping there a week or two weeks. So pretty, but it's very, very rare. I always used to travel in the wagon, like, with uh, Joe's father. 
and all the others like in the other lorries we used to be just jogging along and they used to laugh at us and they used to say uh, you'll never get there and i can always what uh, mr gandhi used to say oh mr gandhi used to say don't worry he used to say we'll be there when the money's about and we always used to get there we could break down but we used to get it to go again we used to chuckle along and uh, i rode with him oh right up till he was ill like you know and he was bad took bad and that and of course then he passed away and i was the last one like to ride in the hearse with him like you know to the cemetery and all like that you know my most sort of uncomfortable feeling is arriving in a new town for the first time Jock, Jock, when it's on the flat, make sure that they keep it dry, you know, because it's going to go straight in, see? Okay, it's impossible to feel the mood of a town before you actually have um, taken the ground and started to advertise your visit. The first thing that comes into it is, uh, is your tent. I mean, you've got to find the, the most likely spot uh, for your tent. Uh, and then irrespect whether your trailers you have to walk a long way to your trailers that's forgotten it's your tent that comes first i generally look at telephone kiosks and um bus shelters these glass bus shelters and if they've been sort of smashed and knocked about and the telephones are out of order one can sort of sense that there is a certain amount of destructive juvenile element in the town i approach the headmaster and say well that coming here with a circus for two days or for three days can you accept my son? And sometimes he turns and I say, what, just for two days? We should have pulled out on the Sunday. And uh, she came up, she came up crying. She didn't want me to go in that. It's the first thing I've ever had happen to me, anybody cry over me. <laughs> she said to the boss, she said, I'll give you anything, she said, to let him stop. So the boss was a sort of a jolly fellow. Like, he says, uh, well, I'll tell you what, he said, go down and get me some players and we'll stop today. And she goes down, she gets about 60 or 70 players. I said, oh, he said, it's all right now, then we'll stop. And we stopped to the Monday, like, you know. Hello. <laughs> My father once had a pony, uh, did not, and uh, he took him to the stage about the second day he had it. He said, ladies and gentlemen, he said, uh, he said, this pony was presented to me by Lady Nadi Denali. Well, Nadi Denali is, is no money in the circus and the showman's business, you see, because the public didn't know that. And he said, uh, this pony was presented to me by Lady Nadi Denali on the conditions that I booked this pony before the public. Now, that was his getting, and the pony did not. He didn't stand with me, looked pretty, nice little bit of ribbon on me. And he broke that bone before the pub. Well, you see, with a, a show of my size, you've got to cut your cloth accordingly. I mean, I've seen the time when, oh, I think I could do that act. And I'd like that act. But my pocket doesn't allow it, because the way that I go on, I know that I, uh, I, I couldn't afford it. So therefore, when you've only got so much to play with, uh, you, you, you've got to get the best out of that. You have to get utility people. It'd be no good me engaging somebody just for the sake of saying it's a wonderful act. And then when they finish their act, they just go in their caravan and sit down. Or well, to me, that, that's no good. They've got to be as good out of the ring as what they are in the ring. I mean, you take Jock, for instance. I mean, I first met Jock, oh, a few years ago. I, my arrangements were complete for Christmas regarding letting stuff out. But myself, I was doing nothing, so I was approached by a certain circuit proprietor. If I go ringmaster, and of course I went ringmaster with him, and I saw this shop looking after the elephant and uh, and he always said it'd be a nice good morning Mr. Gandhi and kept himself clean. I always said to him, I said, well anytime you feel like a job jock, I said, uh, take my address. And within about 18 months he wrote to me and asked me if he could come, he, he, got, he wanted to be a clown. It 
was worth it for those few bells of store, wasn't it? Hey? Oh, I see them well. A little bit of dirt over there, but that's not too bad, Jock. That'll brush off. A bit on the wall, is it? Oh, I'll have a little bit of that. That'll brush off. Would you let, let it dry off before you pull out, Jock, or what? Yeah. I'm going to have a cup of tea, Jock. I'll go ring Buckley tomorrow too, don't let me forget that, because those no. other two guns. Mm. Right, come down here. Round spring. Get behind her. Good girl. Say very stall. Very stall. Very stall when she's up. Now let him go round again, let him go round again. Right here. Pity wait. Sit. Go over to the other side of the ring, Philip, a bit. Right. Out spring. Just down Outspring. there. Out spring. Good girls. Out. Take your curtain. Good girls. Right. Take her down. Take Stella down. All right. All down. 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 All down. Down. Right. Just tap Stella on the front leg slightly. Oh, Just tap her slightly. Oh, Right. Right. All right. Leave her now. Just stand over here. Watch George. Doesn't, watch she doesn't roll. Stop her from rolling. Get up, Stella. It's difficult for a, a circus artist to make a name for himself because he, he doesn't get in front of the public enough. It's different for a singer or a comedian that's working regularly on television or radio or records and things like that. His name's shoved in the public all the time. This doesn't happen with circus artists because they're visual acts and they're, they're only seen when a circus comes to a town. They might not be seen again for a few years after that so the public don't get to know their names, they don't become household names, you know. As long as I'm working all the time and earning a living, that's all I worry about. I don't have any ambitions to be famous or anything. Hello, Manny. Hello. Oh, how's the bookings? Oh, not bad. Yeah. Bit sticky, that place to build. Oh, oh well, I got the usual, you know. You talk about gazump, it's selling something, offering something for sale that you don't have, you might say. You could advertise a, a lovely show and everything, and when the public arrive, of course, there's nothing of the kind. You see, it's mediocre. They go away, they're unsatisfied, that's called the gazump show. There's people like Barnum, and he was a real gazump merchant, you know, because you, you don't get that much nowadays because the people now have a different outlook to these things, what they're doing. At one time, they used to think it was funny to go and see the fall of Greece, you know. They used to go and see the fall of Greece, and it was a candle bent over with the grease dropping off. They used to pay to go and see that, and they thought it was great. Friday and Saturday at three. Thursday, Friday and Saturday at three. It's not just what you do, is it? No, well, no. It's how no, you no. do it. Of course it is. And that's today, sad. comedy, if you can get them to laugh, that's it. That's all you need. That's you don't it. have to be all that clever as long as you can make people laugh. Well, they don't see the clever laugh. stuff, do they, Pat? Well, they don't. It's a simple stuff that they appreciate. Well, that's just I mean, what I've always said. I mean, you could go up there, Pat. I mean, you could attempt to kill yourself. And they wouldn't appreciate well, it. You no. go up there and just do a simple little thing, and they fetch it to place there. What time are you starting? Well, it should be four o'clock, you know, as per bills, but 
jelly about five past oh. four before we opened the doors. But... Remember that night when we went to that do? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a laugh. We made a faux pas there, didn't you, about the wine? <laughs> 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 we'll have to take the good and the bad, haven't we? Doesn't matter where you are, there's always somebody coming round to see you. Is there? Oh, it's surprising. No? Well, I wouldn't have thought so. Because I mean, after all, you go in some uh, out-of-the-way places, so to speak, aren't you? Well, that's the places where you find them. It's surprising that the mm. different people from circus, you know, who are settled down in um, in places where you'd, you'd never uh, expect them to be. Oh, I mean, I went to play a place about four years ago. And the originators of the comedy boxing hall tree, yeah, yeah. funny to say, was settled down there. Was he? Nearly blind. I showed him something that took him back to 1902. Crikey, that's before my that, time. 1902. Well, that's well before. And you know, Pep, when I showed it to him, the tears went down his face. Uh-huh. It brought back memories. Yeah. Well, what was it? Well, it was a pair of, um, I don't know if I've shown them to you or not. It's a pair of, um, cardboard boxing gloves. Oh, yes, which, I remember. You remember? Yes, I remember you showing me them. That's right. Well, it was Bobby August. God. And he was 88 and he was nearly blind. And when I showed him... And when was that then? How long ago was that, you're talking uh, about? This year? No, no, about six, seven years oh, ago. Oh, I see. A little place called, um, mm, Cheslin... Chesden Hay, I think it was, near, um, near Cannock. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. He got a little, got a little cottage there, well, and... I suppose he's dead now and all, wouldn't he? I yeah, I believe, uh, well, I, I don't know, but, I mean, um, look. I believe I heard somebody say he'd passed away, Pat. When I showed him these gloves, they're just the tears, they, uh -huh. you know, they came to his eyes, yeah. He came round about two or three times to see the show, then we went out. You know, for, to the, for a baby. across the road, yeah. For a baby, as usual, yeah. 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 yeah.
and boys once again. Now, as you know, we're no strangers here. We paid your visit once this year already, but owing to public demand, we've come back again. Now, it's not a beautiful summer's day, but um, the show must go on. Now, we've never claimed to be a large circus, but I know very well, by the time we have finished, you will agree they have given you a first-class show for the family. If you have enjoyed the show when it's over, just tell your friends we're here today, and also...